Ability upgrades. You know, they're just one more thing to worry about within this game. It's not like you've got gear, gold, leveling, stars, farming priority. There's so much to worry about and ability upgrade choices just add on to the stress of decision making within the game. So that is why, my friends, today on this video, I scrub through all of the characters within the game and we're going to be teaching you guys and showing you guys the best Delta ability upgrades within the game and the ones that are going to truly make a difference within raid and pvp now delta abilities were introduced from t8 to t9 but way back in the glory days the shift from t7 to t8 was absolutely colossal concerning ability upgrades they really changed how characters worked all together and brought new and exciting synergies to different factions and, and could change a character from like d tier all the way up to a it was like a a mini refresh if you will however t8 to t9 different story let's go talk about it so one of the most stressful joyful but also scary times within the game is when a new gear tier drops you see everybody all these characters all 139 of these guys get new ability upgrades so all of these upgrades and all of these abilities are gonna have new things that come to it so like I said with T7, we've got a lot of big upgrades, but with the newest T8 to T9 upgrades, we got a lot of the same. About the majority of them got 50% damage increases, while some of them got some really unique skill upgrades, and that's what we're going to be focusing on today. Now, there's going to be ones that you want to avoid altogether, kind of like Belle. If you go to her basic, you can go ahead and check it out. She's got a lovely 50% damage dealt upgrade. This is just downright stupid because you're not going to be damaging with bell's basics this is obviously something you would never want to spin your ability upgrade mats for and as you guys know deltas are extremely hard to come by within the game and it leaves the player myself included uh, stressed out when making an opinion on which one to upgrade i went ahead and i separated this list in the delta upgrades that i recommend bringing up into three categories we're going to have basic attacks that's going to be all the basics that are going to be worth that extra sizzle, the extra damage, and what characters have a good enough basic attack to warrant a delta upgrade that's going to kind of supercharge them to the next level. And then we've got the essential ability upgrades. There's not a whole lot of them, but there are some abilities that when you upgrade them, it's going to change the ability entirely, or it's going to bring a massive benefit to what it did previously and then our third category is going to be just a few leadership abilities that if you upgrade these leads it's going to change a faction and or a set of characters so i went ahead and took the liberty to make a graphic i'm going to put it on my discord so that you guys can easily know which ones to level up pull it up on your phone i'll link that down in the description below let's go ahead and start out with the basic attack delta upgrade so the characters i am suggesting today for a delta basic upgrade we're going to be electrifying characters that hit multiple times or that 50% bonus damage is going to do much more than the 50% that you're led on to believe. Now, first up, we've got a lot of characters that hit multiple times that are going to be useful within the raids like Beast, Moana, Hercules. You have Randall, Ursula, obviously Machine Gun Hades. You guys know he hits so many times within the raid, so that damage upgrade is going to be massive. Donald Duck with the one-two punch. Stitch actually has a great stacking basic attack. You have people like Demona, Merida, and Mulan, all hitting multiple times and really stacking up that damage. And then on top of that 50% damage upgrade, you have characters that hit multiple times, but it's much more than 50% damage. You have Elsa that's going to hit more and more with the helpful effects really stacking up that damage number. And then obviously Genie going from zero to hero with his 50% damage upgrade that uh, is essentially a lie because every time you hit the enemy, it gets another 50%. So that little upgrade really stacks up over time. There are multiple examples of this, but again, you're getting much more than that damage increase. And then you've got characters like Frozone and Horn King that just deal a ridiculous amount of damage. You can upgrade their deltas, although it may not be the best decision because uh, there are better choices there. But if you're struggling making use of, let's say, Horn King, 
it's an easy way to get him to do about half a million damage all by himself so these are the delta basics that i best recommend let's go ahead and take a deep dive on the ability upgrades so these are the ones you're really going to want to pay attention to the basics are damage added on these are going to change some kits up entirely. Let's go ahead and start off with a great example in Milo. Milo's got Shepherd's Journal, his passive, and the level four Delta upgrade is gonna call an ally to assist on the opponent with the lowest health. This is a huge upgrade to Milo, and if you have yours at gear nine, uh, congratulations, you already have one of the best characters in the game, and this passive makes them all the better. You'll have characters with huge damage potentials like Elsa with Show Yourself or Hercules with Zero to Hero, or even Hades can bust. Now, I had these characters make the list because they're a little bit different in the way their damage works. Rather than a flat upgrade, it's either gonna massively help you within the raid, or for somebody like Hades, for example, he has the ability to pop off combust so many times with his passive that it's just a very easy decision to throw a Delta ability upgrade on, and it's gonna make your Hades stick out much more than the D8 variant. And that's that's the whole purpose here. Other than stats, what can you upgrade that's going to dramatically increase your character's viability? Some of my other favorite damage dealing deltas are going to be Dash's Dash. You just get so much hit and bang for your buck. Maleficent's Dragon Upgrade, which is incredible. It puts it up a staggering 75% damage, almost doubling your damage output. And then lastly, for the damage concerned characters, you have someone like Ursula. I love Ursula as a great example. You get 50% base damage on a little magic. Her best ability and her game nuking ability. And as you guys can see, this ability doesn't even get a damage upgrade until the Delta variant. And so these are the specific damage cases that I'm looking for within the abilities. The rest of these bad boys are going to do something entirely different. Soli is a great example. His Perks of the Jobs passive upgrade is going to be giving him a 100% bonus defense if he has shield, which he has all of the time. That's going to dramatically add to your tank and your main character within the raid and PvP's survivability. This is a great passive upgrade. Now, Frank, on the other hand, has a lot of great abilities, but I actually love not kitting around as his ability upgrade you're going to be giving proxima a whopping 50 percent damage dealing upgrade as well as more health and defense this is such an incredible delta and if you have frank it's a non-negotiable you got to upgrade this very fast both esmeralda and bell have incredible passive ability upgrades with deltas Esmeralda is going to allow you to have stealth and evasion to start the battle. Great for support characters. And Belle is going to be giving more turn meter with her mirror reflection. That's going to be a dramatic difference in those passives. And both are worth the upgrades as well. Upgrading Tiana's Gumbo Pot for some massive defense or Curse Breaker might be worth that Delta upgrade. And then, of course, Pain and Panic has a good upgrade to their stasis, stealing an extra 15% speed while you stasis that enemy my man randall we talked about his basic but if they fix his bug i definitely recommend upgrading scream extractor right now it's a little unreliable but this is going to allow you to have a randall that's just absolutely meant for the raids and in pvp if you kill someone with this ability it's going to go ahead and reset his turn and he gets a free turn allowing him to pretty much have a silence every other turn this is a massive upgrade and one that i can't recommend enough if they make it more consistent. Now, I'm a big Scrooge McDuck fan. Scrooge actually has two pretty worthwhile Delta abilities. Money Dive is one of those stacking damage abilities, kind of like Elsa Show Yourself. So I loved damaging this one up with Zeus. This was definitely worth my Deltas. And then I haven't done number one Dime, although you can make a case that with one magic cost reduction, you're going to be able to flip this coin every other turn, giving your teammates offense up, a harmful effect immunity, one of the best buffs in the game, defense and haste. So very strong upgrades on Scrooge, both of them well worth it. Moving on over to Xanatos. Xanatos has a lot of great upgrades. I probably wouldn't upgrade really any of them outside of his passive. If you're all in the gargoyles or even him as a plug and play, Xanatos is gonna gain plus 25% speed turn meter when gargoyles die, including his minions. That's gonna ramp him up getting 75% 
because he is so squishy, getting that extra turn is vital to the success of Xanatos. And this is definitely worth your while if you're all in on the DTV Gargoyles. With the recent or upcoming, but they took it away, but it's coming and it'll get a video. King Triton and his prismatic blessing will be worth it down the line. Most likely he's going to be dead and they're going to be getting rid of this ability. And so getting up a Triton just for the raid adjacent teammates are called to assist. As you guys know, we were all beta testers for this ability for the last two years. So, you know, this one's definitely worth taking Triton up to gear nine and using the deltas just for prismatic blessing looking towards daisy and donald we know donald's basic is great but daisy has a great delta ability upgrade i love showtime showtime is going to be extending buffs on her adjacent allies and it's a great way to get consistent and power damage on the raid getting this one level up and extending another helpful effect for an additional turn is massive when you're looking at crit power up and some of the stronger abilities she's not completely worth taking to gear nine but if you happen to be a big fan of the duck this is the ability out of all of daisy's outside of her basic that i would take up when talking about ability upgrades that dramatically change a character's kit sheer khan is obviously the one that comes to mind fierce predator probably got the overall best upgrade i think with pacha it's going to be even better with this, this is one of the most exciting upgrades. Increased speed meter by 30% after dealing a critical strike. This is amazing. Very strong upgrade. You're going to be using him in every game mode. Shere Khan continues to rise up. And again, with more wilds, you can expect him to go further. This is definitely like a sexy ability upgrade to take up. Now, as for Merlin, we just released our upgraded or updated rankings to the Sorcerer's Chosen. Ready or not is one of the reasons why a T9 Merlin is worth all of the upgrade mats. Now, he's going to survive longer to cleanse more, but this makes Merlin a completely new character like Randall within the raids. Reduce target magic if they are a raid boss. So this is great. It looks like it's just a very effective move, kind of like Barley. You're going to be able to kind of hold off those instant hits hold off the rock from slamming his fist. If you've been on the edge with Merlin taking him up, I don't suggest taking him up right away, but if you have him or if you want to, this is definitely worth the ability upgrade. Now, surely I can't talk about all of them, but Calhoun's ability to deal the massive damage with her machine gun in Relentless Assault is insane, as well as someone like Glitch getting her score up and packs her entire kit. So definitely recommend taking that up. Or Rapunzel's flip with incantation that's going to go ahead and have a chance to not only cleanse but flip everything to helpful effects to help out your princess teams. You have Eric who can give away harmful immunity, not too bad for the raids. And then Papa Gantu was one of the more fun ones. However, it just it hasn't come to light yet. Papa Gantu is awesome and giving tactics to everybody is great. More and more characters are being able to give out tactics and I haven't found a team that Papa fits in, but nevertheless, it's a really big upgrade and I definitely recommend it. Now to go ahead and end the ability upgrades, uh, surprisingly, that's going to be the majority of the drastic changes and the ones that I would recommend personally. Uh, there's definitely different ones within there. I've got, I took up a few with Mike Wazowski. Let's look at the Emperor's new groove. Now these are definitely gonna be worth taking up. First of all, we have Cusco when he is made available. You're going to want to go ahead and take up this ability that if an ability defeats an opponent, gain an extra turn. That is always going to be worth the upgrade for you Cusco fans. Take that one up. And for Pacha, I like a couple of Pachas. Um, if we're going to take an up close look here, this one's gear aid. But the 50% damage dealing on Don't Worry I Got You is going to really significantly upgrade his damage potential. And then obviously his passive is also gear nine and getting more buffs every turn is going to be a big deal as well. So I like Pacha's upgrade. And then lastly, look at that Yzma. Pull the lever actually might be worth it. We've been doing some testing, getting 15% speed meter increase to both Krunk and Yzma. And then also taking away an additional 15 is, is electric for the cost of the deltas. Alrighty, now for the end of the video, we've gone through the basics, we've gone through the abilities. Now we've got the leaderships. We only have a few leads that are worth the delta upgrades, but each and every one of these leads make a pretty massive difference to the overall potential of the character's kit. Now, number one, we've got Hiro Hamada. That's going to be giving him and all the big heroes six speed, making them the fastest, you know, uh, faction within the game, even faster than the princess faction. So if you're all about a need for speed, 
Hero Hamada is the way to go. Frank the Tank, guys, is getting a huge upgrade, adding to more stealing of turn meter. He's got a great lead already. It's going to add to that potential. And then we've got Maui, which you guys know Maui's got a huge shield that he gives to Oceanics and all other teammates. Uh, this is a big one. Maui isn't worth it for the other abilities that he has, but simply for the lead, you definitely want to consider taking this one up. And then lastly, we don't know how it's going to work all together and how important club expeditions are going to be with Milo. But Milo's leadership upgrade, having everybody attack, uh, is going to be worth it down the line. Definitely one you want to go ahead and pin mark and put on your list. There's other leaderships in the game, but these are the drastic ones that really enhance the overall faction. So, my friends, we did it. We went through all 139 characters. Those are all of the abilities that you want to go ahead and upgrade. Again, I'm going to put all these graphics within my Discord. You can find that down below. Now, my friends, if you enjoyed the information for today's video, if you don't mind leaving a like down below, and if you haven't, 60% of you guys have not subscribed to the channel as of the last 28 days. So it would mean big time if you hit the red shiny subscribe button. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day. We're always going to help you as this information progresses. And until next time, stay cozy.